You messed with the wrong one, you stupid bitch. You're going to tell the police that you were wrong about my boyfriend and he was not responsible for hitting your so-called friend. You're going to change your tune. You're going to change your statements if you know what's good for you. Linda? Linda, wh what happened? Linda, are you okay? Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay, girl. Oh, my head hurts. Well, what the hell is going on? What the hell just happened? All I heard was a loud commotion and a crash. And now I see you on the floor. What the hell happened, Linda? Eva happened. That little witch showed up. I guess she figured out that I was the one that called on her boyfriend. So now she calling herself trying to threaten me. Ooh, that little witch is going to get it. And she is definitely, definitely fired. But first, I'm going to have that witch arrested. You going to assault me? Oh, no, you ain't. Try me. Yo, Linda, she sounds crazy. You better be careful. Because if she is bold enough to come here and punch you, She's probably bold enough to do something worse. You need to watch your back. Huh, I'm not scared of her. Matter of fact, she should be scared of me. She's lucky she just got that one punch. Because that's all she's going to get. Because once I take care of her, she's going to be wished she was never born. That little witch doesn't know who she's messing with. Well, what are you going to do? Something I should have done a long time ago. Uh, Nina? Oh, what's going on, girl? What's going on? Why don't you tell me what's going on? What, what do you mean, Nina? Like, what do you mean, what do you want me to tell you? There's nothing going on. I don't know what you're asking me. Well, I just received a call from Linda, claiming you have assaulted her last night. She is also filing a police report as we speak. Now, do you want to tell me what the hell is going on, Eva? What? I didn't do anything to her. No. That's a lie. That's a lie, Nina. I didn't touch her. Well, whether it's true or not, right now I have no choice but to let you go, Eva. This campaign is very important to the company, and we cannot have any type of negativity attached to it. So, you're going to fire me over some allegations? I mean, don't I have a right to defend myself? This isn't right, Nina. You haven't even heard my side of the story. I didn't do nothing to that girl. She has been nothing but rude to me ever since the day I started working for her. And now you're punishing me because of what she said? You're choosing her over me? Wow, and I've known you for at least five years, Nina. I can't believe you would do this to me. Of course you have the right to defend yourself, Eva, but not with this project so close to the deadline. I'm sorry. But Mrs. Van Camp ordered the termination, and Linda signed off on it. There's nothing I can do. Plus with Linda filing the police report, I think losing your job would be the least of your problems. I had high hopes for you Eva, you are very talented and intelligent. So I am surprised to hear about this. I hope you can get this situation squared away and get back on the right track. Take care Eva. Okay guys, today's the day, shooting day. So, okay, I have everyone ready. I got two vans ready to take you to and from the, uh, the locations. The first one we're gonna do is at the park, all right? So that's where the kids can evolve because we gotta get them done first. All right guys, let's head out.
You guys rocked. I mean, you guys did an amazing job. You, truly, from the bottom of my heart, you guys killed it. And I'm so glad you guys followed directions from the director. You guys made this this video shoot so much easy and enjoyable. You know what? It it didn't feel like work. It felt like we were just having some great fun. And I'm so proud of you guys. And I want to thank you guys for really taking the time to make this this video a success. So you know what? You guys should give each and every one of yourselves a round of applause. You guys are awesome. from Nina. Well, it looks like I finally got rid of my little pest control. Oh, but she's still not going to get away scot-free, especially after what she did this morning. Mm-mm. She ain't heard the last from me. Trust and believe. Girl, you will not believe what just happened to me. So, so what happened? What's going on? Girl, remember when you warned me that Eva might be dangerous? You were on the mark. Girl, I just came off having the best day ever with this video shoot. I mean, everything went perfect. Perfect. And then I got a text message after the video shoot from Nina, informing me that Eva had been terminated. Which I was over the moon, girl. But I'm still planning on filing assault charges on her. But that isn't the worst part. What? What's the worst part? Girl, the worst part is when I was waiting for a train to pass by. Guess who happened to be stalking me? At the railroad crossing. Yes, Miss Eva dressed all in black. Black hoodie. Black hat. Black pants. I mean, she looked like a burglar. And girl, if you had saw the look on her face, it's like she had murder on her mind and me as the main target. Are you serious, Linda? Why you didn't go to the cops? You could have reported her. Come on, get her off the street. Because this woman sounds... No, no, she ain't sounding. She is. She is psycho, crazy, dangerous. To you, to me, to anyone associated with us. All because you reported her boyfriend for hitting me with his car and leaving me behind. This girl, this girl has no boundaries. Girl, you need to, you need to call the cops. I don't know, what are you waiting on, Linda? The longer you wait, the more she has the opportunity to come after you. She's right. You need to call the cops, yo. Hey, I don't feel I don't feel right that she's already come to this house. She knows where you live. She knows where T lives. The fact that she's already attacked you, the fact that she's already threatened you and now she's stalking you, you need to call the cops. You need witness protection. You need some type of protection. Yo, I don't feel comfortable with leaving you guys all alone with this psycho walking around stalking you. So, T you're going to stay with me until this situation is blown over, until she is put in jail. Matter of fact, both her and her boyfriend need to be put in jail together. That's where they both belong. But I don't feel comfortable with you just staying here by yourself. So I'm going to pack a bag and you're going to come stay with me. And Linda, if you want, you can come, uh, come chill in my place too. But I just don't feel comfortable, okay? I'm just thinking about your safety because this woman, this woman ain't right in her head. Hmm, maybe you're right. Uh, I don't feel comfortable with her walking the streets, too. I ain't going nowhere. She ain't running me out of my own home. But if you want to stay with Jackson for a while, I understand. And I think it's probably best right now. 
But right now, I'm going to take care of this quick and easy. Her butt is going to be behind bars with her boyfriend where they both belong. But I'm not putting up with this. I had to deal with her for the last month. I'm not dealing with her no more. I am just going to just wash my hands of her once I get through with her. Look, Linda, I know you can take care of yourself, but I'm, I don't, I don't trust this girl, okay? You need to be careful. And I really wish you come with me and Jackson, okay? It's just better to be safe than sorry, okay? Just think about it, right? But I'm not staying here. Long as she's out there, I'm not taking any chances, okay? But I really wish you reconsider and come with us. Come on, babe. I hope you pack a bag. Linda, I really hope you really reconsider. My door is always open. Thanks, Jackson. I might take you up on that offer. I hope you change your mind, Linda. For real. And just come with us. But if you have to stay, please, please be careful, okay? This girl is seriously schizo. Keep that in mind. Just be careful, okay? Keep your phone on at all times. So I want to make sure I can still have contact with you, all right? Can you at least do that for me? I promise, girl. I'll keep my phone on. Don't worry. I got this. Yes, it's Detective Anderson in. Yes, uh, my name is Linda Lake. Can you let him know that I'm trying to get in touch with him? It's very important. It's about a very recent case. Yes, he has my number. Thank you. I'm really worried about Linda Jackson. I don't know. I feel like she needs to come with us. Linda can handle herself, babe. Okay? She's a, she's a tough cookie, you know? I'm sure she's going to be fine. And like, like she said, she's going to get this done and over with quick, okay? And we will have to think about this evil girl or her boyfriend or this whole case ever again. Once it's over, it's over and we can just live the rest of our lives, all right? Don't worry about it. All you're going to do is stress yourself out, okay? So you, are you ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Do you smell that? Does it smell like smoke? Oh my god, it's strong. Where's it coming from? <laughs> oh my god! The apartment's on fire! The apartment's on fire! <coughs> the apartment's on fire! Come on, team, we gotta get out! How do we get out, Jackson? The fire is literally right outside the door. How do we get out? We're trapped. 